My name is Gabriel Campos Zamora and I'm the principal clarinet of the Minnesota Orchestra. I've been playing the clarinet since I was about 10 years old. Back home in Costa Rica, I started uh, studying music um, at the conservatory at the National Institute of Music. And for a couple of years, all I did was sight singing and I played the little recorder, um, which we're required to do before we can pick an instrument. I had a little go at the violin and I played percussion for about a year, but I just didn't like those as much as I liked the sound of the clarinet. The clarinet is a wind instrument and we play it with a reed, which is this little piece of wood that you see right here. Uh, and it is a single reed as opposed to the oboe and the bassoon, which play with a double reed. And when we put our reed uh, next to the mouthpiece, it vibrates and it creates a sound. And I'll just take the mouthpiece off from the clarinet and show you how that sounds by itself. So it makes a really high-pitched, ugly kind of sound. But when you put it on the clarinet, it sounds kind of like this. One thing that I really like about the clarinet is that you can play it in many different styles. You could play a tune from an opera. You could play a tune from a Beethoven symphony. Or you could play a tune from Gershwin. I would encourage young people um, to pick up an instrument and learn it because I think it's a great discipline. It allows you to think about um, the world in a very different manner. We're used to reading and, and doing activities that are um, quite available, but when we pick an instrument, we learn a whole new language, uh, just like we would if we were trying to learn French or German. Um, and music to me allows you to really think about um, meaning. Um, even when you have a piece of, of music, you have these parameters, you have dynamics, you have articulation, uh, you have style, but you still have to consider all of these things and come up with what you think uh, would have been the composer's intention. So you, when you're playing music, you know, you're not just playing the notes and, and, and playing what's on the paper, which you know, at first this is pretty much what you're going to see because it's difficult, but eventually what you're doing is um, reinventing whatever that composer um, wrote. And I think that that's really important. Uh, it's really interesting to me to bring that music alive. Um, you know, when you see a painting and you go to a museum, it's, it's there and that's amazing in its own way. But when you're playing a piece of music, it doesn't exist until you pick up an instrument or you and your peers pick up instruments and, and, and you play that piece of music and you bring it to life. And the joy, I guess, or the beauty of live music is that you're never going to hear that same performance ever again in your lifetime. You might hear the same piece by the same performers in your lifetime, but it's never going to be that evening. In fact, you know, once I play a note or two, that's gone. I'm never going to be able to play it exactly in that way again. And, and, and to me, that's one of the most incredible things about music. Well, thanks for spending a few minutes of your time um, and listening to me talk um, about the clarinet. And uh, I sure hope that I can see you soon at Orchestra Hall or one of our concerts. Please say hi. Hi.